Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. America is not a racist country. Okay, so the video was this teacher in the striped shirt wrote on the chalkboard, the whiteboard, um, all lives matter. Teachers in America really need to learn how to keep their racism and their political views out of a classroom. It is not your job to mold and shape students to believe what you believe. So any teacher that do these kind of things, they are wrong. And what she did was extremely unprofessional. So ladies and gentlemen, you know, once again, we got Karen in the classroom and she doesn't know how to contain herself around students. So she knew, let's be real. She knew by writing that on the chalkboard, it was going to get a reaction from the students. And it looks like the, the classroom is one of those uh, classrooms where you got many different ethnicities and races in the room. And this was extremely ignorant on her part. You know, there's a time and place for everything, but this was not the time. And on top of that, y'all, she's a substitute teacher. You know, so this went viral of a white substitute teacher who wrote on the whiteboard, all lives matter. And a black student, as you saw, got up and erased it. And she went ballistic because the student erased it. She had a problem with that. Well, that's too bad. That's too bad. You should not have had it up there in the first place. So this came from Reddit public freak out. Uh, actual teacher has an, a Black Lives Matter sign in their classroom. A substitute teacher took down the sign and then wrote all lives matter on the chalkboard. How about not having it in there unless you are teaching specifically on that subject matter? How about not having none of it in there? So ladies and gentlemen, let me get to the rest of this. So the students did question her on why she wrote that on the chalkboard. Oh, she says, white lives matter. Well, I don't know why y'all got to say that. White lives have been mattering up in this country for 500 years. Why do you feel the need to say that now? Nothing has happened to them. Nothing bad has happened to them, says a black student to the teacher. Nothing bad has happened to a white person ever, questions the teacher before dipping into and a symmetrical and a historical screed. Uh, we're not talking about that. I'm just saying straight up, were you a slave? Well, the way America pays in the prison system, yes, slavery is still here. Don't let them tell you that it's gone. It's been here all along. That's why as soon as the slaves left the plantation, what did they do? They jumped up and came up with that 13th Amendment 
and start throwing prisons up all around the country because the same people that were in slavery was always their intended target. Slavery is still going on in America in the prison system. That's why they want to pay them nothing or 12 cents an hour. And then look you in the face and say, slavery's not here. It is here. And even those immigrants that come across the border, you give them slave wages. So who sold you into slavery? The substitute teacher asked. Did you know African-Americans sold out? Oh, here we go with that white supremacist talking point. Well, if you want to go down that line, don't let Lisa Cabrera do a live stream on white people selling white people into slavery during the same time chattel slavery was going on in the country. Don't let me go there because I will and you're going to be mad. For history's sake, black people weren't considered full Americans until after slavery ended. Therefore, the notion that African-Americans could have sold other African-Americans into slavery is factually incorrect. Africans from the Western continental countries did sell other Africans to white European slavers, um, mostly English, Portuguese, French, Spanish, and Dutch. However, they did not Wally understand the consequences of their actions. Most captured and enslaved Africans came out of varial tribal conflicts. Exactly. That, that is true. A lot of times those people that were sold, they were in conflict with the people that were selling them. And don't let these people tell you that white people didn't do that. They did it all over Europe. The Vikings got out the auction block and put white people up on those auction blocks and sold them in Europe. And a lot of the sales were going on during chattel slavery here in America. See, this is what they won't tell you. Just like they're trying to erase their history here in America, they also have tried to really erase a lot of their history over in Europe, especially the Dark Ages which they don't want you to know anything about it. Although many black people do know about the dark ages and many of us know that those Vikings over there sold y'all. And also ladies and gentlemen, those pictures that they had of all the nude men, you know, nude women. And sometimes you would see nude children. They were nude because they were slaves and they could not afford clothes. But they put those pictures up and lied to, oh, this is the Renaissance. And in the Renaissance, no, that ain't no Renaissance. That was a damn slave you were looking at. That's why they were nude. Many of them were walking around Europe like that because they were so poor, they had no clothes. Okay? Man, you don't want to go down that path. I wish I was in front of her because I would have gave her a run for her money. Big time. Okay, the vast majority of slave owners and those who benefited from slavery from America and throughout Europe were white people. Slavery was a primary basis of a fast industrializing world economy. Yes, because you didn't know how to build up your own world economy. So you had to do that off the backs of others, just like your prison system doing all that corporation work doing it off the backs of others. So after a brief back and forth, the black student gets up and walks out the class, which the teacher appears to allow. But after a cut, the black student seemed to have returned and seen erasing the All Lives Matter message from the whiteboard. That sets the problematic substitute teacher off and she demands that the student goes to the office. And that, actually, that's a good idea. This teacher needs to be reported. So this substitute teacher can get cut and never come back to the school. That's actually a good idea. It's unclear where the video took place or if the teacher faced repercussions for the incident. And she should have. That shouldn't, that shouldn't uh, 
what I'm really saying is, look, you can feel any way you want on the face of this earth. But when you are in a position where you're molding and shaping the minds of children, those kind of political views should not be in the classroom. And I'm not talking just about all lives matter. I mean, really do most black boys and girls in this country really know who runs Black Lives Matter? You know, the political side that nobody really hears about. You just, you know, you hear about it in spurts, but it ain't always out there constantly. Do you know the faces behind BLM? That's why many in the black community don't support them. Okay, there's a reason why when BLM is out in the street, you see a lot of white faces out there holding those signs too. And we know about Patrice uh, Colors and all the uh, news that came out about her and buying all those homes. And I mean, it, it's a mess. The organization is a mess and they really just pray upon black pain. They don't really do anything to help the black community at all. That's why a lot of people in the black community have turned away from them and don't support BLM at all. So if you are not teaching the meaning of what you call all lives matter and black lives matter, and you're not really making the students understand, or it's not, or it maybe is part of the curriculum, then that's one thing. But to take it upon yourself and just get up and write that stuff on a board and no, nah, no, nah, this teacher is extremely unprofessional. And in my opinion, she has no business being around children at all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.